Now that we have hit 7,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a titanium white atomizer when the channel reaches 7,500 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and comment your gamer tag along with your platform in the comment section down below. Every video of mine that you watch, make sure to drop a comment and follow those steps, as every time you do that, you will be entered again. But anyway, let's get into the video. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm doing a brand new nothing to something and we're going to be working towards a painted octane. If you do enjoy this video then please do make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the like button and turn on post notifications so you know exactly when I upload. But anyway, let's get into the first trade of the video. So at the start of all these videos, what I have to do is open the rare drop so we can get our starting item and start to trade up to the painted octane. So I'm opening a rare drop and I do get a very rare, which is actually quite lucky. And I managed to get a Dominus Snake skin. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's just a known crate, very rare. And then I do go on to sell that for 30 credits, which I believe is minimum price for a non crate, very rare. Right now it is 20 to 40 credits. So it's going to be a lot easier to sell for 20 credits. It's, you're not going to be wanting to waste hours just trying to get an extra 10 credits on it but here i do manage to pick up a non-crate very rare for just 10 credits non-crate items are really good to go for if you're just starting off trading and yeah if you've got an inventory of around zero to maybe 200 credits or so then buying and selling a non-crate items is going to be massively helpful for your inventory so yeah i keep on doing this probably yeah, probably at like the start of every nothing to something, just because it is the easiest way to grow an inventory up to around 100 or 200 credits. And then you can start to move on to black markets. And as you just saw, I've bought a non-crate import for literally just 10 credits. They're valued at 30 to 50, so I can get myself at least 20 credits profit. And selling both of them here for minimum price, but it is to one buyer. So it's going to be, yeah, it's saving me a lot of time not selling them separately. Because if you're just trying to sell non-crate items like this, it can be a little bit of a hassle to find people that actually want to trade with you. And because I'm just showing some non-crate items right now, if you want to go and check out my video on like how to trade the ultimate trading guide, then it's going to tell you how to identify non-crate items. So yeah, go and check that out. It's a really good video if you guys want to know how to get started trading. And then you can hop onto the nothing to something. But yeah, I've just bought myself a Draco and that can go for around 100 credits. Most exotics can, but Draco is quite high in demand. So I do manage to get these items here and I'm not gonna lie I thought that uh, forest green region was a non crate because it was from a golden crate series But it turns out you still can't trade up items from the golden gift 21 I believe it is so yeah, I kind of wasted a bit of money on that But these three imports still go for around 30 each So I do manage to get 90 credits for all of those in total So now my inventory is just above 100 credits and I've also got the forest green wheel, which is going to be very hard to sell because it can't be traded up and no one really likes it. But I do manage to get myself a party time for 120 credits and I believe it is 200 to 300. So that's going to be the best trade of the video so far. And black markets do tend to be very easy to sell because they're very high in demand. Everyone wants to get their first black market and party time isn't even that bad. So yeah, if you want to get a lot of profit, make sure to try and go for the black markets. And in that trade you just saw was another perfect example of non-crate items. I bought myself four non-crate imports, which you guys know is 30 each. That's going to be 120 credits plus the non-crate exotic, which goes for around 100 credits. I'm going to get myself 220 credits. And also there was a Dominus Suji in there, which is 100 credits at minimum price. So if I sell all of that, even at minimum price, that is 320 credits for a party time. And that is over maximum price. So yeah. A very decent item overpay there, and I actually do manage to get the Forest Green Region sold for a Juiced, which was a very good trade. I believe that Juiced is also 200 300. Yeah, 200 300, and the Region was not going to sell at all. So I was so lucky to find that trade, and the inventory is now worth just over 600 credits, which is quite good. And as my inventory does get better, the trades are going to be. Yeah, that they're going to be getting more profit each time, which is perfect. And in this trade is a perfect example as I trade 200 credits for an Electroshock and the Titanium White 
OEM. The OEM alone goes for 200 credits, so the Electroshock was just basically an extra 200 credits profit from that trade, which is perfect. And then I go on to sell both of these hard to sell items for minimum price each, which is actually so good because the white OEM would have taken ages to sell dominus cg probably not as long but i'm just happy to see that gone as well after that i do go on to get a pretty decent trade by selling the electroshock for 280 credits plus two non-crate imports electroshock is 250 to 350 so that is over mid price actually which is perfect and yeah, I'm very happy with that trade. Non-credit imports, as you guys already know, goes for 30 credits each. And then the credits are really easy to work with because loads of people want credits. They're the most high in demand thing right now, I do believe. And I go on to buy even more black markets, which are going to be so easy to flip for profit. Even if you buy them for 50 or 100 under minimum, you can get mid or sometimes even max price for the black markets which is going to be perfect because that means at least 100 credits profit for each black market and in this trade i mean voxel is kind of hard to sell so i swapped it for hexed which is 50 credits more anyway and it's going to be easier to sell right now my inventory is around 1000 credits maybe a little bit short of that but yeah still pretty decent with the amount of trades we've done so far and here i'm going to be picking up a non-crate exotic for just 50 credits that's half price right now non-crate exotics are 100 to 150 and they're actually very easy to sell so if you can buy yourself a non-crate exotic for 50 or even less you're guaranteed to be able to sell it for 100 credits so that's going to be some very secure profit and that's also really good to do at the start of a nothing to something if you can find a trade like that but yeah i then go on to sell all of these black markets here i believe for minimum price each i think so yeah and uh yeah that's pretty decent i would have got mid price but this guy wanted to buy all of them so it's just so much easier for me to sell all three black markets to one person instead of waiting probably another hour to just get 150 credits extra which i'm not really too bothered about and i can just go on to make more profit like this by selling the non-crate exotic for 100 credits which is perfect just buying it for 50 credits probably about five minutes earlier and yeah the inventory is probably about 1.1k credits right now so right now i don't really have too many items on the account so what i'm going to do is spend some more credits to get items that i can sell for more so i go for two black markets buying juiced and spectre each of them are 200 to 300 and i'm paying 300 credits so yeah at least 100 credits profit there if i can sell them each for mid price it would be 200 credits profit but i'm not gonna lie they were very hard to sell so i did end up taking a minimum price and here i'm actually buying a lime interstellar for i believe it was like 400 credits under minimum price which is very good and i do actually go on to sell this for like 800 or 900 credits but i did lose the clip or forget to clip it so i'm really sorry about that it's a really awkward thing with these nothing to somethings just because uh yeah it's just really awkward to try and clip everything i've got to remember each time but yeah I, i've already sold it in this clip it's not in my inventory anymore so that is gone but i still do manage to sell on the spectre for 200 credits and now yeah our inventory is looking a lot healthier i'm not gonna lie we got so much more in the account and we are actually very close already to getting the painted octane now i actually decide to buy a little bit of a different item i could have bought the octane right here for around 1.5k worth of an inventory but no one was really taking my offer so i pay 150 credits under minimum price for the black zombies right here and literally i put up a post straight after and there was like two people interested for 600 credits so i literally got this sold instantly which was really decent so that's 150 credits in under a minute which is actually crazy and yeah with these credits i finally have enough to go on to buy the crimson octane right now the price of crimson octane is 1500 to 1700 credits which is quite a lot it did used to be like double that i'm pretty sure maybe even triple but it still looks really cool and i'm glad to say that i have now got it in the account paying all those credits are juiced and two non-crate imports worth 60 each the juice is 200 so i do I th I, yeah i think i overpay a little bit not by too much but i still do manage to get the crimson octane in my account but anyway guys that is going to be the end of the video please do make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you guys know exactly when i upload let me know what you thought of this video if you do want some more nothing to some things in the future i'm not gonna lie trading has gone downhill a lot there's not 
that yeah there's nowhere near as many people trading as there used to be but if you guys want these videos i'll still get them out and that is gonna be it from me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out